YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you today some journals I've been working on. Um, I got the idea from, well the first video I watched was the Black Cat Craft 13 and then the other one I watched was Ellen B. Show and Tell. But they both said they learned it from Laura Dennison, a follow the paper trail. So of course I had to look her up and she's just amazing and can do all kinds of crazy stuff out of just anything. She's like amazing. Anyway, so <laughs> what I'm going to show you is the toilet paper rolls, toilet paper mini albums I've been working on. And then I'm going to put together a mini album with you. Well, I have it all ready to go and we're going to put it together. And the next one, I just finished gluing, so I don't want to play around with it too much. I just glued these on. But it's just a cute little thing. I've been dying to use my Scrabble tiles. In fact, I need to find more Scrabble tiles, but it is like literally impossible to find Scrabble games at any thrift shop now that people know what to do with them. And I am not paying $20 for Scrabble tiles in the original box. So on these, they they do stick up a little bit, and I'm fine with that because they are glued very well, and it just gives it a little extra dimension. I don't know if you can see that too well or not. But I just put a little LOL on the side, and then I uh, laugh my ass off on the cover. And it's just a simple ribbon, you know, closure. I don't know why I could think of the word. And then inside, I kept it pretty simple because I want you to be able to do whatever you want with this. So I tried to keep it simple so that you could make it yours. So all these images in here are from the computer images book that I bought at a, an estate sale. So I'll just go through... And the stack the deck binding is on glitter paper, and it's the same glitter paper that is on the tabs. Really? I think I need to cut that one down. And on the backings of this, because I wanted to tie it all together. So each one, of course, again, has a journaling spot. So this is just some fun metallic paper that I got from Dollar Tree and a journal spot on the back. So each one has the same exact thing. I didn't embellish these sides in any way. So once again, pretty simple. It does take a lot of time, especially because I'm a gluer. So I have to wait for everything to dry, which is a pain in the butt. But I like it. But with the stack the deck binding, I did use score tape because I tried to glue, well, I accidentally tried to glue it and it just came right off. So, I do use score tape for the stack the deck binding and it seems to be freaking fantastic. I mean, it is stuck on there really good. So, that's that one. So, that's that one. The one we're going to be working on today is a little travel journal. And I started this last night. And I've been working on it all day. It's now 7 o'clock at night. I've been literally working on this since at least noon. But probably earlier than that. So these all take a lot of time. But it's mostly about waiting for things to dry. And also about thinking about what you're going to do. Thinking about it just takes forever, and then trying to find what you're looking for also just takes forever. Okay, so this one is, I'm going to make it a little travel journal. So it's just got an old map, I believe it's, yeah, Minnesota. And these are all like old maps that I got from my grandma. Well, my mother who got them from her mom. And this is just a simple, 
I just put a simple closure on this one as well. I probably could have made it a little longer and then you could have tied it right here too. That would have been cute. Oh well, I didn't think about that. So the inside, I just decided to make little envelopes inside. I don't know why, I just thought it was a good idea. And so each one has a little fold out and I just left this blank so that you can do whatever you decide you want to do with it. And on this one I left a little tab because it was hard to pull out without it. So it's just got a little tab in there. And once again, just one velcro for and one velcro for both of them. I just cut it in half. Sorry, there's a ribbon stuck to it. This one is really crooked, but I didn't I didn't want to move it. And you know what? It's homemade and it shows that it wasn't made by a machine. It was made by a human being. So it gives it that human touch. I like the human touch. Sorry, it's from the Simpsons. Anyway, this is an earring that I only had one of. So, actually, I think it was my cousin. My cousin. She gave me a bunch of junk that she didn't want. And so I try to incorporate it into my art. Actually, I have to show you the whole box. Right here. This is all my stuff for, like, making tassels and... Like just this kind of random stuff on the edge. And on this side, I just put a little clip. Oh, there's my freaking magnet. I was looking for those. Okay. On this side, I just put a clip so you can put whatever you want on there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the binding. No, we're going to attach the rolls first. to the binding and then we're going to put it in and then we're going to put in the tags and then I decided I'm going to stamp the tag oh I already did that to the tag oh well, let's just stamp the other side I'm going to stamp them these stamps that I just got from Wish.com that I showed in my first Wish unboxing video. And, and I'm going to cut these out and probably fix them to the back and then decoupage over top, which I forgot to get my glue out, so I'll have to do that. And then we're going to fix the travel journal thing on here and I'm going to put the trip right here. Okay, so first things first, I need to do this. Okay, so anybody see any good movies lately? I just went and saw, what did I just see, totally forgot now, I just went and saw the Belco experiment. <laughs> if you don't like scary, gory, I, don't, I didn't think it was scary, but gory for sure. If you don't like gory movies, it's probably not your cup of tea. Um... I really enjoyed it though. That's the one where it's a corporation and they. Sorry, I'm looking for something. And all of a sudden, one day, all the windows, you know, metal goes over all the windows and they tell people if you don't kill people, where something bad's gonna happen. And then chaos ensues. Anyway, it was actually surprisingly good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, um, oh crap, i got to attach the things first. Because <laughs> I'm going to attach this to this, 
and then this to this. And my measurements are not like 100% perfect. And I don't think I did it exactly the way Laura does it. I just did three quarters on each side. And on the last one I only did a quarter on each side. Or That's my dog barking. Looks like I'm okay. Anyway, so all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to attach the bindings. I don't know how I live without score tape or scoreboard, but I'll tell you what. Once you have something, you're like, how did I live without this all my life? Like, how could I have been doing crafts this whole time without this? It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be pretty good. And then, just you, if you don't have a bone folder, you can use anything. Before I got that, I was using this letter opener that I got, which does just as well. I just want to make sure that it is adhered to it. And then we're going to attach this last one. Whoa. Just try to do it in the middle. Just like that. This one should have been a little longer. I don't know how I fudged that up, but I did. So, there's that. Simple. And it's <laughs> it's really fun to make this deck today. And it's so smart. Okay, so, what I've learned from Laura is only do one side at a time when you're attaching your toilet paper rolls. just so it's straight and perfect or you know as good as you're gonna get it that way you don't have to worry about both sides once so you're just gonna push that down and you're gonna go inside I just like to push from both ends to lift it up a little bit and then you're gonna go inside and just pull this right up when I get about here, I try to hold on to the paper and just pull it out with the paper like that. And then, whoa, and then you just close it down and your first page is on there. What? Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to just continue to do that. So we're almost done with this part. Get in there. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is put the lid on this so we don't stab ourselves. Right? Set it to the side. Okay, then we're going to throw all this garbage away garbage can closer. Okay, then we're going to fix it in here. So, what we want to do is, I was supposed to leave a little more space, but I didn't want too much space in here like the other one. 
So we just want to make it as centered as you can. And I put away the thing I needed. Duh. I thought it was done. When I bought the scoreboard, uh, the score tape was like an add-on for like three bucks. So I said, yeah, might as well. And that way I can try it out. Now that is done. We are almost done. I love that clackety clack. I don't know why. It just fascinates me. Okay. So next, I'm going to stamp these journal cards. Excuse me. And I'm just going to put one of each stamp on there because there's six. Yeah. And I just happened to have six stamps, so it was like destiny or whatever. So, I'm going to put them probably in the left bottom corner. Just to embellish it a little bit. Just a cute little dealy. Can you see that? Really good angle. Am I up in there? And set to the side and move on. I push down pretty hard just because I want to make sure that it gets on there. That's super cute. Woo! I'm just kidding. <laughs> that. I need my. I ordered more ink pads from Wish.com, but they're not here yet. I'm sad. I just want more colors. I don't have any colors. And I want colors. Is that too much to ask? No. So I'm using this really old stamp pad. I got at the estate sale that I've been getting all my stuff from. And it actually works pretty good. So I just need to buy an inker for it. There's that one. last two. So the other day, my internet went off. And like anyone would in 2017, I freaked the crap out. Because it was like, what do I do now? I don't know. What is there to do without the internet? No Netflix, no voodoo, no anything, right? So we have to dust off some Blu-rays. So we watched some, you know, regular old movies and I pulled out a puzzle. Me and my boyfriend did the puzzle for two days, but the internet was off. <laughs> I can't remember when it turned off, but it was off all the rest of the night until the next morning. So we had to just figure out what to do with our time. So that was interesting. You don't realize how much of a crutch it is until you don't have it. Sorry, I'm in between painting my nails, as you can see right now. Okay, so now that's done, I should probably clean these off, but I'll do that later, not on camera. And while those are drying a little more, I'm going to cut these two pieces out. Then I'm going to fix to the back of the journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look homemade. 
And that way you can just tell people, oh yeah, I totally made this. I'll let you take the credit. I don't care. See, I love that. Oh, shh. Sorry I dropped it. Okay. Oh, crap. I forgot my glue. Sorry. Now we're just going to put the tags in and hope they all fit because I didn't even think about that. They should. I don't mind if they stick out a little bit. That might be too much. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just fine. Gives it a little extra pop of color. Right? Right. So I had a lot of fun making these. It took me about two full days to make all three of these. Two full days. But they are so cute. I love them. And like I said, I love the sound. I don't know why it pleases me. So we are almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead. I don't like the same though. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tie this up. And then we're gonna do the cover. Then <laughs> we're gonna do the cover. Less mess. No fuss, no mess. And then after this is over, I'll show you the press I made. Because I'm super proud of it. I finally found my good glue. Well, I didn't find it. I finally got to where it is. And then I pressed a little too hard, didn't I? I always do. And I'm just going to pop that sucker right on there. Where's my bone folder? I wanted to make these as simple as possible so that people could add their own, you know, flair to it, make it their own, but also have it, it's bitter war, sorry, but also have it, you know, done and ready for you to just, like, if you want to just leave it the way it is, leave it the way it is, and then just add in your journaling. where we want this. Do we want it right up there? I was thinking about adding more to it, but I don't think so. I want Minneapolis to stay there. Probably should have done this before I got on video. Because like I said, this is the part that takes the most time, is just thinking about the layout, thinking about what you're going to use, trying to find all the pieces. I think I'm just going to put it up here. This is just an old um, dog food container I use as my glue mat. That way I don't get my table sticky. Because I'm tired of getting my... Because then when you put, you know, you're putting like this down here, then you get glue on the side that you don't want glue on. And that's not cool. So, I've learned to have a little mat. So I have that. And I've also learned that I need more journaling pages that have to do with travel. I don't have very much, actually. Everything all the pages inside here came from a certain packet of pages and I already put it away so I can't show you what it is but it's, I think it's Memory Makers and it's from 2000 or 2001 so I've been hoarding it a very 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 long time 
I I do use it, but I've been hoarding some pages. So I've decided to use them. Huh? Look at that. So close, right? Just this in the back, and we're done. Sorry if you hate those. Please don't stop watching me because I say so a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute. Now the back, and then we're going to be done. I'm pretty sure I'm going to decoupage these on. Because I want them to stay and not tear. So, my brush. This is my decoupage glue. Um, clearly need to refill. But as I said in my previous videos, it's just Elmer's glue, water added, so that it makes it safe. You can see that. So I'm going to put, <laughs> I say so a freaking heck a lot. I'm just going to put some on the back, just all over. Ouch, the light is hot. Oh man. No. I'm gonna put it right on there. Maybe, maybe not. Where's my thing? Don't worry about it getting it perfect because we're going to do a layer of decoupage glue over top. So then same thing. First we're going to look for a spot that's not covered in glue. There we go. Dip it. Brush it. And when I'm done with this, I will immediately go wash this brush off with soap and water. And it won't be perfect. It'll never be perfect again. This is just my glue brush. But... If you don't, then it gets hard and crunchy, like this one. And this one actually was washed. <laughs> it just wasn't washed immediately after use. So, But now they're both my glue brushes. They're fine. They're cheap brushes anyway. But Just make sure you have a dedicated brush for your glues. For your decoupage glues. Okay, so, now that that's stuck on there, we are going to decoupage over top. Just to give it a little more uh, durability. Just so hopefully, you know, it stays good on there. Actually, I should be using my foam brush for this. Do that. Now the lights in my freaking face though. I'm trying to figure out the shadows. Sorry if you heard that. I have a sign on my door saying reporting in progress, but that doesn't stop people from living. So if you hear any random noise, I'm sorry. just rub it on the whole thing. That way it gives it a uniform look. In fact, I should just do the whole thing. This will cut down on the streaks. I mean, I'll still, still be able to see it, but... Look at that. And that's that. Now we just gotta let it dry. Oh, no, I'm gonna fix this. And then I'll show you my press. It's crooked because one of the bolts is clearly the <laughs> wrong one. But I didn't take the bolts with me, so I didn't know. It's also shorter, and this one I effed up on. So it's, uh, I had to make a, like a giant hole. 
But these are tile from, I think it was Lowe's. Yeah. Because I didn't want to cross the freeway to go to Home Depot. So I just got these at Lowe's. They were only 50 cents a piece. I bought these ones because they were, they're pretty Sam. That's a line from Addicted to Love. Anyway, so they were 50 cents a piece, and I got them back in the tile section, clearly. They're just like particle board, I think. And the bolts, I believe, I don't know, where's my, I can't remember how big they were, so let's just, what is that, three and a half inches? They look about three and a half inches. So I just got four of those and four coin nuts. As you see, I love paddle bits. They're perfect holes when you do them right. And I didn't really measure them. I just drilled through both of them at the same time. So this is what I ha have inside. Clearly I'm making more mini albums, eh? But this is what I've been doing. And I actually originally made this for flower press. So I will be doing some. Well, once springtime really hits and there's actually flowers growing, I will be doing flowers. But until then, I'm pressing my toilet paper rolls. And it works pretty good. I'm, I think that I'm supposed to have another... I'm, I know I'm supposed to also have cardboard right here and another cardboard on top to help press it. But this is just toilet paper rolls, so I wasn't too worried about it. But when I put flowers in here, I will have a piece of cardboard here and then wax paper or parchment paper and then the flowers, then another wax paper, then a cardboard, etc. You know, and keep going and however many layers I want to do, and then I'll press it. But for now, it's just toilet paper rolls. And I actually have a couple more to put in here. So I just smush them down myself, and then I put them right in here. Clearly, I'm going to have to put the lid on first. Put this to the side. And yeah, so that's it. That's what I've been working on lately. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, please don't say anything mean. Just don't watch it. I mean, nobody's forcing you to watch my videos unless you're my mom. I try to push it down as much as I can before I put the wing nuts on. But this one does not want to go down at all. So, oh, because this one's crooked, I was supposed to redo this one like I did this other one. But I didn't because I'm lazy and I think I might... I'm going to have to, because otherwise it's going to be crooked and it's going to be a pain in the butt to get that one on every time, which is why I don't take it off all the way now, because I didn't do it. I didn't measure and I didn't do it perfect, and I should have, but oh well. I mean, it's not terrible for my first try. 
I think it's pretty good. Anyway, you don't need to watch me do this. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you want me to try anything at all, I'm up for it. Just comment below. Otherwise, I hope everybody's having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.